Layoff fiasco. I'm at Amazon and luckily made it past the layoffs however, the senior SDE that held the weight of our entire application system jumped ship before the layoffs hit. The entire project was safe, so he wouldn't have been affected, but the looming threat and lack of forward communication was enough to scare him out. Now we're way set back and kinda. Thumbs up, plot twist there was no bug. But now the entire department is reviewing recent code. I got laid off today at Citibank. This is the same company that hired so many programmers I spent a year on bench getting paid to do nothing. The job was a joke with how little work there was. The company was so flush with cash they paid millions to have an astronaut on the space station speak to us. Nothing makes sense anymore lol. Might add a few sleep 4000 as well. So what is the bug and how can we exploit it? Lol. Leaders have been edging. I once had a boss who I hated and was completely incompetent. He was named Doug. Some people in the company would call Doug Douglas due to his incompetence and Douglas hated it. Now for those who are unaware you can customize the autocorrect library for Office Outlook Windows. The day I left I hit a entry in a group policy that would push autocorrect library that would autocorrect Doug to Douglas on the computer. It would also reverse this change on its own after a set period of time. Doug's computers were excluded, and I put a bunch of logic in the script that would only apply on certain dates of the month depending on what the last digit of the computer name was to make it appear completely random, and only affect a handful computers at a time on the domain.